Hi, Santiago from Upsave here. In this video, we will learn how the crafting system works and how to create recipes in the editor. Crafting systems can be simple, just like they can be extremely complex. It all depends on what type of game you want to make. We decided to create an extendable crafting system that allows you to do some decent crafting out of the box, while being abstract enough to allow programmers to extend it to whatever they wish. There are three main components to this crafting system. First, the crafting category. It allows you to organize your recipes. Your recipes have a list of ingredients and a list of outputs. And finally, your crafting processor takes a list of items, your recipe, some external inputs to give you a result. The processor that comes out of the box will give you the output of the recipe as your result. But you could customize it such that it returns different results depending on the items provided, the character stats, or even a mini game. Implementing such functionality will require you to write some custom code. I would like to point out that we are using Unity 2019.4 and UIS version 1.0. Let's go in the scene to see how the crafting system works in the demo. You can find the crafting stable on the bottom right of the screen. On the left of this menu, you'll see the crafting recipes, organized by item categories. In the middle, you can see a recipe uh, with its ingredients. The ingredients descriptions are here. You can see also the output of the recipe here. As you can see, we're unable to craft this recipe because we're missing titanium ingots. Let's craft them. We can craft multiple items by using this quantity. Let's craft two. As you can see, we now have two titanium ingots in our inventory. Select the great sword and craft. Let's see the relevant game objects in the hierarchy to see how the crafting was set up. On the world, static interactables, craft table, find the interactable game object. Here you will see that we're specifying a recipe category called all recipes. All the recipes that are referenced by this all recipes crafting category will be sent to the menu to be displayed here in the selector. Let's see how the crafting categories and crafting recipes are set up in the editor. Go to Tools, Opsiv, Ultimate Inventory System, Crafting Categories Manager. As you can see, we have three crafting categories. The All Recipes category has a recipe type of crafting recipe, a editor color, and the editor icon used to customize it in the editor. It does not have any parents, but it has some descendants. If we check in our direct recipes, we'll see nothing, but in the inherited recipes, we'll see all the recipes we had in the selector. Our default recipes also have a recipe type of crafting recipe. Our recipes with currency have a type of crafting recipe with currency. It is important to note that you can create your custom crafting recipe types through code if you want to. Let's have a look at our great sword recipe. 
as you can see we have our great sort name for our recipe we use a recipe with currency category and we have set the editor icon here we can set the ingredients the output and any other property we have if we are using a custom recipe type for the ingredients we have different ingredients types we have the item categories ingredients which mean any item with that category can be used as an ingredient the item definition ingredients which is any items which use this item definition can be used as an ingredient the item ingredients which can be more specific using attribute values a currency ingredient and any other ingredients we want if we're using a custom crafting recipe type we can also set up our outputs here using item amount and of course an other if we're using a custom crafting recipe type here we can see our ingredients and our outputs these are just to visualize if you wish to add or remove ingredients and outputs you must do it from here as you can see this currency tab won't show up on crafting recipes which uses the crafting recipe type To show the currency's ingredients, you must be using the crafting recipe with currency type. Let's create our own recipe for the knight armor. By default, it will have the uncategorized category. Let's change it to recipe with currency. We will be prompted with this warning message. Since recipes can have different types, going from one type to another, you may lose some information. Since we just created this category, we do not need to worry about it. Let's set up some item definitions as recipe ingredients. We can set some titanium ingo. Let's put two. Let's add some water and some wood. We can then set some some currencies. Let's put two silver and one gold finally let's not forget to set our output to one knight armor as you can see here we can even set our item attributes if we want to we can make this a special knight armor which has 10 defense instead of 5. Let's save and go back to the scene. Let's go to the crafting table. Under the armor item category, we'll find our knight armor. As you can see, we have the ingredients we set up. And the knight armor has a defense of 10. Let's create some titanium ingots. We need two of them. Just such that we can craft our knight armor. We now have two knight armors in our inventory. In this video, we learned how to set up crafting categories 
and how to create crafting recipes. We also looked through the demo crafting menu to understand how it worked. If you have any questions, please join our forum or our Discord server. You can find the links in the description below. See you in the next video.